Oh, this is a Dagon. This is gonna be interesting. So we don't want uh, the Agitators. Alright, here we go. Hey, John. You spam Thunderbolts on everything? Well, you can't blame me. They were really good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we got to press your hero power. With this deck, you always want to press your hero power. Huh. Okay, let's go with Dwarven Merc. Or, actually, King of Beggars. Let's see him better. He shouldn't have too many ways. To shut me down. Wild Hound Hound could be one of the legit ways he has to deal damage to me. Yeah, I'm quite familiar with that strategy. So, we can deal. Uh, well, this Cleaver is basically an 11. But we can play Cleaver later and just play Ward from Merc. If I want that. Do I want that? I'm not sure if I want that. Dwarven Merc would allow me to possibly kill the Neckers, so that's a plus. Eh, it doesn't matter. Now we must stick together. I'm not really rushing to deal damage to the uh, Old Spirit of Asleep. Yeah, that's what I expected. I'm a dwarf of business. Yeah, let's go with that. Maybe we can finish off the Neckers. Probably not. This is not a good hand, I have to say. We usually want a lot more value generators. Uh, that did give him tempo, but I'm a little bit concerned that also that was not a not a way to make the Neckers bigger. So I'm really not sold on that. I think he just really messed up. Okay, it's probably not gonna sink him, but it was a mistake. We'll put Mahakam boots to Imperial because access. We can kill a Necker now. But this, this hand is weak. Oh my god, so weak. Old spear tip. Okay, we can play a resilient dwarf in the front. Ah, uh, shoot someone for one, I guess. Hi Adam, uh, good to see you. Play Gwent again. Where have you been? I was dead. Rip in peace. Marauder and pass. I think we're just gonna play the Mahakam Guards. I was just not interested in Gwent, uh, Sai Kumaru. Uh, that was that. I would play a lot more RPGs if you guys were into that. Uh, that was well, that that that's why I originally started uh, doing videos. Well, that's that's not kind of how it turned out, but that that what inspired me originally. I kind of wanted to make uh, some RPGs, uh, RPG playthroughs, but I'm I really like card games as well, of course. I don't play any other card games right now. Well, I guess I'm. Always playing a little bit of Hearthstone here and there, but like, that's like 
few hours a month, something like that. That's just a hard habit to kick. Every turn. Uh, that's not too good here. No. Well, he's a finisher deck, right? Yeah. I have to give that one up. He's running a finisher deck. And if I start doing something fancy here, obviously what would be the best is that we had uh, resilient units that I can put on the board. That's kind of the goal of this deck. But we don't have that. So our second best option is to buff Sheldon Skaggs like crazy. And just nuke one guy he's gonna play. And uh, try to rely on some kind of a um, synergy between the dwarfs. So we're gonna pass. This is bad, but we are mitigating the damage at this point. Yeah. Have you actually finished Thronebreaker or made it as far as... What? Made it as far as in videos? Uh, I recorded four episodes so far and I... That's like... How long are the episodes? Like an hour each? Kinda? Like that. that's about as much I played so far. So that boosts itself. That's kinda good. Uh, that's definitely better. Oh, I don't want two of those. Also, we kind of want to boost Shadow and Skags if we can. Yeah. Immune drive. Oh, that's random. Yeah. Um Okay. We'll pay man by I have to boost this guy and get him on the board. <clears throat> what happened? Where am I? What is going on here? You're in uh hell or heaven, whatever you like. Uh you met the dead Adam, who's uh well who's clearly dead. Hey Adam, uh, good to see you. I remember you were one of the first to experiment with Nilfgaard handbuff in the beta. How are you uh, finding homecoming? Initially, I didn't like it much. Actually, initially I liked it. Then, then I got sick of it a little bit. And now, the mulligan patch came out and it improved it quite a bit. And uh, now I would say it's probably the most fun card game out there to play, unless I'm missing something. Uh, but yeah, I would still like to see improvements myself. To the game. But we're playing dwarfs. Zombie Adam, best at him. Uh, wow, that was actually pretty powerful. He's completely dodging my skirmisher. I can't target that. Alright. When the white frost comes, do not Boosting that that sucker was a big mistake. Mahakam Defender, you disappointed me. It's gonna make it easy for that guy to thrive. But there's not much we can do Sky about it. Attack! That needs to be played. Then this needs to be played. And actually this could be played earlier. So we will see. But he just needs to get something out that we can target. <clears throat> you still live and play Gwent. Well, the life part is debatable. 
I'm missing Unless artifact. Humility, really? Now. Holy crap. No one told me. Oh, that could be really nice to steal. Well, I, I don't have a lot. Wait, what? He already boosted something in the hand. Yeah. We can kill that. We can boost by three. Let's see what we can do. Well, we can boost by four. He's probably gonna play his boosted card last. Ooh, that's really powerful. Can I match that? So, the best I can do is to match it. Actually, no. We can top that. Fuck. This is, this is tricky. Because if I play Barkley right now and boost Itlin Egli, we go to 12 and we can get Count Coldwell, 50-50. I think we just gotta... But, and if I hit this and he plays something bigger... And he's gonna play something bigger. It's gonna be a, a goal eating or spear tip or whatever. Like, okay, we gotta play like this. I don't, I don't think we can win uh, a fair game here. We have to steal his card. Hmm. No, oh, never mind that. Yeah, you just stay here, okay? Keep in mind, 22 points. Pretty good for finisher. GG. Not bad. Alright. We're against Dagon. I don't want to deal with that. Roach, definitely not. So, this is a, a good example of how... The monsters play, I suppose, and how my deck plays against them. However, this is not really the ideal matchup for us because we have somewhat similar win conditions, and I think the monsters are stronger. So we might have to go for an alternative win condition. Okay, let's go for boost. Do I spy? Why are you calling Woodland Dagon? It's very simple. Uh, if he has a shorter name, I'm always gonna call it the shorter name. It, he was Dagon for a long time. I have no idea why he's not called Dagon anymore. That's a lot cooler. I'm not cool with this guy name, though. I'm happy to call him just some sword dude, the leader. Filavandral and Findal. I should call him. That name is just too long. Hmm. Maybe go with Pafko Gea here. Some more Dagon was fishy fish. Sounds like the dumb thing I would say. Ah, they used tired my tongue about that. Can I finish that off? Probably not. Actually, possibly. Yeah, so with the Dwarven Merc. Let's try to kill it. Oh, that's kind of lucky. I sense your fear. I see your fear. <laughs> so we killed the Drowner. No longer is gonna buff. 
This is great. So we have all the resilient stuff for later. I'm gonna play on the first row. He likes to have the highest unit, so uh, let's just work on the highest unit. I'm just gonna drop the Mahakam Defender. It's a bit tricky. Still a bit tricky. We gotta get 13 points. So currently we are tied with the highest unit. Wow. Hit everything. Sure. Can I take the lead somehow? So this should be able to take the lead. This is an 8. And that doesn't take the lead. Oh boy. Okay, let's just play a regular Marauder right, guy. Come on! Who's fast? And uh, weaken his fives, just in case he has a, a card that affects the highest. <clears throat> they gonna die to global warming. Sadness. Okay, 13 points. Huh. You know what? We are committing to round two. We can also get out the lowest unit from our deck. Good question. I think we gotta play the Mahakam guard here, and we're gonna play the resilient dude later. Okay, pass. <clears throat> Where are you from, Adam? From Mahakam. Obviously. <laughs> wow. According to people, I'm from Canada or the USA, where they don't know. I don't know what to go with here. So, I just go with the smuggler first. Shadow's Skeg is extremely powerful. Yeah, I seen that coming. But maybe he's holding on to goals that are completely useless now. But he kept them anyway because I'm saving for last round. But he's dumb, right? We'll pay men back for the persecution. You're gonna be powerful. I like it. Um, might as well just shoot. Actually, I made a mistake. We dealt too much damage. Let's not, not shoot. Maybe he's gonna play something big. He's gonna play something big now? Please do it. Oh, that's perfect. 
Okay, so if he has... Uh, let's shoot that. No, no, no. Let's play Sheldon Skaggs. And there's a chance that he has the count. So we're gonna go with uh, Sheldon Skaggs. Hitting that. And that hitting that. Okay. If he holds the count, he can't play it because he comes to me instantly. If he has a goal, that's a dead card. Nah, it's completely out. We managed to smack a big monster deck. I feel pretty good about this. GG.